okay so welcome back to this course so in the previous video we have created our model for the orders you can see that here so now in this video let's create our route to create a new order all right definitely when we have a front end uh, in the react then we will pass all the information of the order from there but right now let's just create here uh, a route to create a new order okay so first of all i go to the controllers and create a new file that is called order controller orders or order controller dot js and at first of all i bring in the order this order equals to require it from dot slash the models slash order and then let's also bring in the uh, bring in the product because i need it so models slash product and then let's also bring in the error handler from dot slash utils slash the error handler then also bring in the catch is sync errors equals to required from dot dot slash middle viewers slash the catch is in carrots and then let's first of all create our first controller function that is create a new order that goes to slash api slash v1 slash order okay let's put in here slash new then exports dot new order equals to catch async errors async function the request response and next let's first of all pull out the information from the uh, request dot body so request dot body and we first of all have to bring in the order items so order items is the array of all the products that user want to purchase then the shipping info shipping info of the user all right and then we have to also fetch the items price the tax price then the uh, shipping price we will calculate all these prices on the front end when we add our react all right and then the total price then also we have to bring in the payment info okay and so these are the uh, fields that we have to pull from the request.body now let's first of all create here uh, order uh, sorry const order equals to await order dot create I have to pass all these things here so I simply copy and paste them here so order items shipping info items price tax price shipping price total price payment info and then I'll also add here paid at I'll simply add here date dot now so when we create this order this means that user has successfully paid the its payment so paid at this time then let's also add the user who has basically created this order so request dot user dot id of that user all right and now let's simply res dot send 200 dot json in that simply pass here success to true and then the order that we have just created all right simply save it let's create a new file in the routes with the name order.js and let's first of all import the express equals to require express and also bring in the router from the express dot router all right so we have to get our function from 
require dot slash controllers slash the order controller and have to bring in the new order all right and then let's also push uh, pull here the is authenticated user from the dot slash middlewares slash the auth let's also bring in here the authorized roles so auto rise roles okay and after that let's first of all type here router dot route slash order slash new and dot post it will be uh, user must be is authenticated but definitely you must be logged in to create this order and then the new order here and let's also module dot export the router save it go to the app.js let's bring in the order control d order and this also order simply save it and now let's check it out if we go back to my postman create here a new tab post domain slash api slash v1 slash order slash new okay let's go to the body and the body i simply go to row and json and i have already typed my order data so i just bring in so so this is the data you can see that here so first of all the tax price the uh, items price tax price shipping price total price and again all these prices uh, will be calculated on the front end when we are our react okay oh we have to add here the object starting and the closing okay and put here comma comma and i think so i forgot to put here commas all right and also we have here uh status will be in quotations okay then the order items so this time it contains this product and this is the apples price the image of that apple the quantity then the shipping info you can see that this is the dummy data then the payment info so all this data is hard coded but when we add our functionality on the front end this all will be calculated on the front end okay so if i click on send from here so i got here okay I go back so this means that you res dot status code okay so if I go to the orders controller so again that is res dot status save it and now if I go back and click on send so success true you can see that the order is created successfully and in the user is this created at paid at payment info shipping info order items and the items price tax price shipping price total price and order status you can see that it is in processing okay so we have successfully created our order and saved that in the database again this all data will come from the front end automatically when we add our functionality so just focus on this route right now on the back end let's save this route that is create new order so create new order um, and save in the database we have to save it in the shop it create new folder called order 
let's save the order all right so that's it so in my next video i simply have to basically uh, get this single order by its id you can see that we get here id of that order in here uh, this one then also we have to get all the uh, row, uh, orders of the logged in user okay so we have to create two routes in our next video okay so i will see in the next video